If an app can win me back 30 minutes a day, it's out. We reviewed the best tools for today and 2026 based on real use, updates and reliability. These five actually save time. Research faster, write smarter, schedule automatically and turn meetings straight into action. The AI productivity tools that you'll actually use in 2026. Let's go. First up, your prompt library everywhere you type. One right click with zero context switching. Why I include it in this list? It saves me time, it works with any AI or chat box and it onboards in seconds. Right click prompt is a free Chrome extension that puts your saved prompts in the browser right click menu. So you can insert them anywhere you write. ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, email, docs, you name it. You can install it from the Chrome Web Store and once it's done, make sure you pin the extension so it's always one click away. So before we make our own prompt, as you can see, you already have a starter library available to use right away. But now let's add a custom template. You just click on this button that says create folder and then you name it. I am doing email starters. And now when you have your folder created, you just name it. And I have a prompt already prepared right here. So I'm just going to paste it and save it. And how you would use this is just right click on your mouse, select right click prompt and go through the folders. This is the one that we just created. I'm going to select it and here's the prompt. Now, whenever you write, right click and insert the prompt without any tab hopping. The result is consistent, high quality prompts in two clicks. It's the fastest way to stop retyping your best prompt. Where else any turns any web page into markdowns, PDFs, or clean text, which is handy for notes, briefs, and archives. It's 100% free and super fast. I included in this list due to its one click exports. There is no sign in. It works with any site and it includes multiple formats in one place. So before we get into the process, let me just show you what they have. So we got URL to markdown, also URL to PDF, URL to image, quite handy, URL to QR code, URL to MP3. I use that one quite a lot and many other ways you can convert your URLs. So now let me show you how to create a downloadable and printable PDF. Go on any website and copy the URL. I'm gonna use this article from NASA. And now when you have it copied, go back to URL to any and just paste your link right here and click convert. And bam, it's ready. You can download it, you can share the link. And once it's downloaded, it looks like this. Amazing. The next one on my list is Radiant, one of the top AI personal assistants, and they are the sponsor of today's video. Most meeting tools stop at notes. Radiant is a Mac app that captures your meetings without a bot. It drafts follow-ups and can push the next steps into the tools that you already use. Radiant runs locally, captures discussions directly on your device. Then it instantly drafts summaries, follow-ups, and updates for Gmail, Slack and linear without any prompts or setup needed. When you're done with your call, those drafts flow into your stack. You have Gmail for email follow-ups, Slack for team updates, linear for tickets, and Notion for docs and more. Instead of adding a bot to your call, Radiant runs unobstructively on your Mac. After the meeting, it drafts the summaries and suggests next steps I can send or create with one click. Thanks, Kinti. Till Friday. Bye. So here's the meeting that we just finished. As you can see, Radiant has extracted a whole summary and it gave me the action items from our conversation. With one click, Radiant can help me now draft up a whole follow-up email from this meeting. I just click start. And of course you can adjust and tweak any details you want, change your subject line and you're done. Now let's convert this notion table into real tasks on our team board. So these action items that came from Radiance page, we'll just structure them into the table with real tasks. What I'm going to do is just copy these action items and then go over to notions AI. And I'm just going to write, organize these in the database table. I'm going to paste the action items and hit send. And now it has created this entire table by just dropping it in the chat directly from Radiant. We have all the actions listed out with the statuses and the descriptions along with the dates. 
From here, of course, I can go in and adjust anything if I want to, but so far it looks pretty good. If you don't have the AI, you can copy the bullets into a new temporary page and format a simple four column table manually and then just fill in the three to four rows. Now those action items from Radiant are trackable tasks here on our Notion board with assignees, dates and status ready to go. Now I'm going to send a meeting follow-up email to my team members from all the information that Radiant has recorded. So before you start, make sure that your Gmail is properly connected. You can click on your name in the lower corner and then it will open up settings, go to tools and turn on Gmail. From there, I'll go into the chat box and I'm just going to type in follow-ups and next steps. And here we have a whole list of follow-ups and next steps. And at the end, it's suggesting to put this into a task list or a calendar invite. I will say yes, schedule follow-up right here. And it has created a whole action item. And here I can confirm the details. I can also adjust them later. I'll just tap on continue in Google Calendar. And here we have the calendars open. And here I can again confirm all the details but everything looks right. I already have my team members tagged and it's ready to go. Now we're going to post the summary and the next steps on the Slack channel directly from Radiant. And this is super simple. I'm just gonna go in the chat bot again and I'm gonna type in share the summary and next steps on Slack. Now when we have the summary and the next steps generated, I can click here on copy and open Slack just go into the window and paste it and we're done it literally took me two clicks i wasn't kidding that's the whole loop meeting email task calendar slack in minutes i love using this app as i don't need to take notes or remember what was decided in the meetings i can actually focus on the discussion instead this way everyone on the team gets accurate meeting summaries and clear next steps Check out the link in the description to try it yourself. Next we have Whisper Flow, an AI dictation app that turns speech into clean polished text anywhere your cursor lives. Docs, emails, ChatGPT, Notion, you name it. I like to use it because I type three to four times faster by speaking. It works in any app, it is free to start on Mac, Windows and iPhone and it pairs beautifully with AI chats. First things first, let's just install it real quick from whisperflow.ai and we're here on the homepage. Now going to ChatGPT, I'm just gonna put my cursor here in the chat. Do you want to hold down the control button on your keyboard and just start talking? Summarize this article in five bullets, then suggest three YouTube title ideas that are punchy and under 60 characters. And there you have it. The whole text is written out correctly and it's ready to be sent out. Another quick example is how it structures longer thoughts. I can ramble on for a minute and look at the structure. Hold the control button again and start talking. Meeting recap. Decisions. Ship landing page hero by Friday 5 p.m. Anna handles headlines and mock-up. I will write the announcement email by Friday 11 a.m. Risks mobile animation performance, mitigation, compressed assets, and test LCP. Notice how there are bullets, sentence casing, and punctuation, and it all stayed tidy as I talked. This is ideal for notes, briefs, task bumps, or you can later paste this into Slack or other project management tool. Extended monologues can reduce accuracy, so pause between ideas and keep chunks short. Always proofread the final text. Lastly, we have Perplexity. Perplexity is one of the most powerful AI answer engines and it searches the live web and shows numbered citations to every claim, so you can check the sources yourself. You can ask general questions like these. And here we have the answer with the citations as promised. As you can see, every bullet links to the original source. You can hover to preview and click to open because the citations are built in. And to keep all of your findings together, you can do that in spaces. This can be really handy if you are tracking a topic over time or even collaborating with someone. Name your space and go onto the right side of the screen and your space is saved with the thread that you were just working on. And of course you can add the threads and collect your information over time. 
let's say you want to share this information that you have just generated, what you can do is download this thread in a PDF, or you can take it a step further and go back to the chat in the same thread and just type in summarize into a structured brief. And Perplexity has organized all of your information in a beautiful table. From here, you can download it as a PDF, a markdown or a docs. I'll do a PDF. Here is the PDF already. Now you can email it, send it to anyone you need or just save it for later. Another way you can share this table is just to click on this little copy button right here and you can go on to docs or notion and just paste it. And the format has stayed the same. It looks just as good. And this way you can share with your coworkers. If you need a full report, deep research runs dozens of searches and it compiles a structured brief. Let me show you to do this deep research. Make sure you toggle on this deep research button before you start your process. And here you can see it processing is going to take a little bit longer than usual, but believe me, it's worth it. Deep research actually reads wildly and they returned a structured report with links and reasoning, cutting off hours of desk research. New features like Comet, which is Perplexity's AI browser, pushes this even further for integrated browsing. Basically, you can search as follow-ups and trigger workflows as you browse. It's positioned as an answer first browser and now it's broadly available. Also on Perplexity, you can pick your models tailored to your exact tasks. For example, here you have OpenAI's latest Claude 4.5 Sonnet or Gemini 2.5 Pro. This can balance reasoning depth, coding, or even speed. If you want less busy work and more done, these five tools are a great starting pack. I have linked everything in the description. Comment your favorite stack and I'll see you next time.